It was interesting. I got to meet the prof. I was not a fan of the prof earlier. So seriously, I wasn't. When I wanted, when, whenever I wanted to read his books, things became very difficult for me. I had to drop them. I never got comfortable. I needed something simpler, but I said I must, I must get something from this man. I must know the reason why this, the, why this texts are too difficult for, for my head not to carry. <laughs> and luckily for me, I met him. I asked questions which I have wanted to ask. Why, why, why all his texts were too difficult? And especially, I asked about his hair too. <laughs> and uh, I got every answer I wanted. He's a good man. He's very simple, as old as he is. He's still jumping staircases. <laughs> what has she done to deserve it? And there was the secret lives of Baba Segi's wives by Lola Shunei, whose book was transformed into a play. Oh, it's your leader's fortune. Yeah. Have you forgotten that we are bound by the same Let us only speak words that will push this matter forward. There will be trouble if we do not find a way to keep Balaya out as soon as possible. An overwhelmed play director and the founder are impressed by the turnout. I feel a huge sense of fulfillment, um, but I also feel a great deal of relief. Um, like you said, it's one thing to dream about something. It's another thing to even experiences, experience it as it's happening. But when you get to the end of that experience and you're looking back and you've heard so many positive comments, it's, it's difficult not to feel a great sense of satisfaction. So I'm really happy, very pleased. When we started rehearsals, when the script came through six months later, and we started rehearsals after casting the play, the, the, that sense of anxiety turned to one of exhilaration. And, and of course, on Friday, after the audience um, appreciated the product, we felt enormously relieved and um, incredibly humbled by the response. And for me, I'm very proud of the work. Um, I'm proud of the company. I'm proud of the writers, the two writers, Lola Shoni and the, and the adaptation writer, um, Rutumi Babatunde. Poets also showcased their talents as they mesmerized with words. When my friends mock my naivety, poets like they are, they blaspheme, claiming the patriotic men in uniform are part of the conspiracy. Justice has been kidnapped in my country, and no one's willing to pay a ransom. Justice. When what shall I see? Uh, I can't remember. She was missing in the years of IBB when the Nigiwa was blown to pieces. She was absent when Apache reigned and justice outside if the Gabu Sarabua was born to hell with the critics. Justice has been missing in my country for so long. The French Republic gave us a maid of version of power, but she was promiscuous and so wrong. What's the more she could see? Distinguishing between foes and friends of the government walking through the hands of the EFCC. Which reminds me, Nuhu Ribadu was acclaimed her champion, that dispensation's faithful man, until Wiki leaked and we heard him sing like a canary on the different tune before the Americans. Justice has been missing since the First Republic when Awu was thrown in prison for treason, since the soil in Oloi really bled oil and the windfall that came from the boom accentuated our divisions. <laughs> It was time to let loose with the crowd showing they had more than writing skills. As it danced into the night, the success of the maiden edition of the Ake Arts and Book Festival is a testimony that all are eagerly looking forward to another exciting time to celebrate literature in Abeguda next year. I hope you enjoyed that. Have you been reading African literature? If you have not, let me encourage you to start doing so. Many African writers are incredibly gifted and they continue to churn out great books. Why don't you start giving them serious consideration whenever you decide to pick up a book to read? As always, 
The Channels Book Club is committed to promoting African literature. Here's our book of the week. It's titled Thread of Gold Beads. It's a novel written by Nike Campbell Fatoki. This amazing book is an epic story of love, war, and betrayal set in the late 1890s in Dahomey Kingdom, which today you probably know as Republic of Bene, and also Abelkuta, southwestern part of Nigeria. It chronicles the tumultuous life of Amelia, daughter of the last independent king of Dahomey. I thoroughly enjoyed reading the book. Pick up this book, read it, and enjoy yourself. Trust me, it's, it's a great book to read. So there you have it. Please join us on any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. My name is Ola Kunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.